Hi, welcome back to all beautiful people to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Deck. As promised, today I'll be showing you the last of the Lava Burn deck, the last version, which is the Tiki Lava Burn, with the skill of Odin Chain Reaction. So let's go through the deck. Two Lava Golden from the Merrick event, and three um, Swordswoman from the PP reward or by farming Mai. And three Tiki Soul from the Cut Trader. Two Floodgate Trap Pole. Well, if you don't have this UR card, you are feel free to use any card that helps you to regen your life point, which is a trap like Javelin, the Golden Apple, or you can just find some alternative. Two Tiki Curse because I only have two, and I think two is fine enough. 3 Draining Shield, which is pretty good as well, as it neglects the opponent attack and gain the life point. So another replacement for Floodgate you can use is Impenetrable Attack, so you know, you won't get any better damage while stalling. That's one option too. So 2 Golden Apple, you can have 3 if you don't have one of the Floodgate. And 3 Massive Moth is a must. So this deck is pretty awesome so far in the ladder. I think this is the best version for all the Lava Golden deck. So hope you guys enjoy the replay and have fun. Remember to drop a like, subscribe and watch all my videos and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So today the first game is against Paradox Brothers which is a ninja deck. And it's pretty easy against Ninja because they only have a 1000 life point after 3 star demotion. So I recommend all Ninja players try not to use Ninja deck as of now because there are too much burn in the ladder. You will just get meltdown. Try other alternative deck like Galliator, Samurai, Hazy Frame, Cyber Angel. That will be a better choice. So here I have a break. Dragon Ninja, he have a few bad rules and I know that he's trying his best to not get burned so he have cuts in his disposal so it's alright because I have two massive moths to protect my life point and I have another Amazon Sword Woman so I massive moth him so he can't attack me directly he banished two of his cards to graveyard banish him back but hey welcome back but it's okay because the massive moth again and my sword woman will do the OTK. It's pretty straightforward against uh, Paradox Brothers. I keep using this deck, so Ninja user, I'm so sorry. As of now, this matter, I don't think Ninja is that viable at the moment because of the influx of Lava Golden. So. Honestly, a lot of people just switch quit against this deck, so it takes me like, I don't know, 2 hours to get some we videos replay that people are willing to play against me. Because it's just such a tilter and a lot of storing games and planning. So I just had 2 card Fraggate and Massive Morph. I Fraggate the Sergeant Electro because I just don't want to see his face to neglect all my face down effect. 2 Massive Morph. And he did an Afrat gate. I massive morph him straight away so he can't attack my life point while giving him some chain reaction. But he used the ultimate providence to neglect my massive morph. But he did not attack me. I lava golden him, set my tiki soul, and my massive morph, and he gave up. Because he knows that no point. It's just GG from there. I hope you guys enjoy this deck type and have fun in the PvP. It's still early of the month so no rush to King of Games I would say. Just take your time, start some gems, get some wins, which is important. I will be trying to come out a Gemini deck in my next video. Not sure will it be later today or tomorrow so stay tuned for it. So I'm against a Samurai deck, which is pretty simple. I have Tiki Soul, 
training shoe and go to Apple. All my bet roll is there. I think it's so. Chain reaction. So he used his bigger monster Zenji to attack by drain, draining shield him, lava golden him, and pretty much that's it for him because there's nothing much more he can do. He can try to econ take to throw away my lava, but it's alright. I take the 1000, I take the 2000, and golden apples comes to the rescue. And now a chain reaction. And this is the time that I'm so proud of this deck that I can go aggressive. I was like, okay, you have no back row, you only have one face up monster and one in hand. That's good. GG. Tiki saw him again for the troll. Attack and Amazon swap woman for the OTK. So playing this that you can be passive and aggressive it really much depends on your opponent and your gameplay as well so I hope you guys enjoy this deck and this is against uh, I would say now a uh, going to be tier 1 deck a dinosaur deck with the new influx of Brad Brachios from the PvP Cut a change. So I start off with a pretty good deck like Draining Shield, Massive Maul, Tiki Soul, and of course my star, the Lava Golden. So you have 3 set and 1 Hydrogen. I just play 3 set as well. He wants to attack me. I just use a Tiki Soul. Just let him attack. Why not? Another Massive Maul, Draining Shield just to get some life point. You may face a bit of tilter as people is not willing to invest too much monster on the front row. So sometimes you just have to outlast the opponent. So for this turn, he summoned up Black Brachios, but I just forget it. And the next turn, I'm able to do the Lava Golden. So Dino is an aggressive deck. But as you can see, I'm the one that is going more aggressive, charging from the life point. <laughs> so at this point of time, he have two bad row and one of my spy. I still have pretty much good resources to withstand any damage or any surprises that's coming in. So Sanji Electro is one of a pain in this deck. So beware of it because it's gonna pain your ass. So, Golden Lava to attack my defense monster, but it's okay. I just drain sure and get the life point, and now Lava Golden can't attack me. I just gamble with Swap Woman for the OTK. Easy peasy, like a cheesy juicy. So, this will be the last replay of this deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the Lava, Burn Lava series. I I think over the past two days or three days I've been featuring different types of lava decks that you can build. So be sure to check those videos up and check my other videos for more aggressive deck because uh I don't really like to burn I don't really like to use tilting deck. So I'm not sure who I'm against with. I will talk Cyber Angel but we shall see. So he he just used this effect and it's really a cyber angel so this deck did very well against cyber angel with massive moth, golden apple and tiki curse so there's no way that they can deal any damage to us or you know just try to do some funky cyber angel play impossible so he's trying to get as much cuts as possible to get his big boss Dikini out I think he cursed him because how dare him using a $300 donkey to attack me. Lava golden him the next turn. No doubt about it. Give you a 1000 life point in his face. So I'm pretty sure he will use the Dikini now. But I have a lot of options to, to to deal with it. So he throw in my lava golden. So disrespectful of him. So I will just throw him through the front gate of trap hole. So you attack me, I golden apple, give some more chain reaction, 
get back my life point to healthy 4000. So I just use my Swordswoman to attack the face down Bikini and Massive Morph effect to pump up Bikini to get the OTK. So you see this is gonna be aggressive and passive. I hope you guys enjoy this deck type and enjoy all my other video remember to give a like have your comments down below subscribe to my channel as it is free and follow me on my facebook for more uploads and updates have a good day good afternoon good night and signing off peace